Oye, mira, I want to have a conversation with my white friends who are actively trying to deconstruct from their whiteness. My friend and mutual Portia made an unbelievable observation when talking about um, having a conversation with white individuals who are actively deconstructing. A lot of times, a lot of you guys get stuck and we hear you say things uh, like, I feel bad um, about the realities of being white and the realities of our society. I feel bad that I didn't know. And as she continues encouraging a conversation with white individuals who sometimes get stuck in these moments, she makes a declaration to not feel bad, but get angry. And as I was watching her video, it almost immediately hit me because many times as people of color, as visible minorities, we are told, act accordingly. And this is the stereotype that people of color, particularly black people, are more prone to being angry than any other race. So if you're a white person who's actively trying to deconstruct from their whiteness, I want you to ask yourself, what is preventing you from being angry at the realities of our society? Because when you feel bad, you truly remain stuck with this idea that I can't be angry. I have to act a certain way. I have to present a certain way. Otherwise, society may look at me differently. There is this undertone of criminalization that people receive when they are exerting their anger. And when you emotionally suppress, it is absolutely delegitimizing the justification for your anger. Because the realities are that we as people of color are angry because of the systems that we have to face, but white people are equally angry and they become angry when they find out that they've been lied to their entire lives. They had no idea they were born into these systems until people of color actively tell them what is at play here. When people of color and visible minorities tell you, white people, that you are being complicit in your silence, it all stems from your fear of how your anger is going to resonate with your white communities. Ultimately, you don't want to be demonized. You don't even want to be looked at differently from your own family and friends, which maintains your proximity to whiteness. There is a difference between us fighting against whiteness and white people. No one ever says we hate white people. We just hate whiteness. And when you are able to compartmentalize the two and understand really what's at play, it's only then that you truly become a better ally.